Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to create a little JavaScript that allows a visitor to your website to click a button so that some random trivia will pop up down here at the bottom. So let me kind of show you what I've got so far. Jump over to my editor, and I've got a, a pretty blank or pretty plain web page at least. Doc type definition for HTML5, uh, a few things in the head section, including I have a link to an external CSS file, which I've already created. And I also have a reference to an external JavaScript file, which is currently blank. On the body of the page, I've got a headline one. I've got a button element, which is currently not doing anything. And I've got a paragraph, which is uniquely identified, but it's an empty paragraph. So basically, I've got a headline, a button, and a paragraph. Empty. And on my web page, I've got a headline. There's my button, and my paragraph is going to be right down here. So what I want to do is jump over to this external file, which is ultimately going to be a JavaScript file. And I want to create an array. An array is a list of items. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a variable called odd trivia, And it's going to be equal to a set of brackets. And that is creating an array called odd trivia. Now after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a string of an array items. And for instance, the first one is going to be odd trivia opening bracket 0 closing bracket is equal to a pregnant goldfish is called a twit. There we go. So this is the first item in my odd trivia array. And I'm going to go ahead and pause my recording and go ahead and type out a few more. So I've got about 10 here. But they're all going to have this same basic format. OK, there we go. So I've typed out um, nine more. So I've got a total of 10. And go ahead and check out this array. My I have a variable called odd, tri odd trivia. That's my array. And then my array is made up of 10 items numbered 0 through 9. And of course, each of the numbers here in square brackets, and they are simply equivalent to a plain string of text. Um, our last one here, intelligent people have more zinc and copper in their hair. So I think after this, I will go make a hat out of old pennies and wear that for the rest of the day. Now, after I've got this array, I'm going to go ahead and create a function. And my function is going to be called odd trivia again. This time, I'm going to do a little camel case, a little capital T there, just to help distinguish it some. Do an opening curly braces, press my enter key a few times, and a closing curly braces. My function is not going to be very long, but my function is what I'm going to use in order to produce a random number that corresponds with one of these array items. And then I'll display that string of text in the paragraph on my web page. So it's a really short little function. The first line of my uh, function, or the first statement within my function, I'm going to go ahead and create a variable called random trivia. And it's going to be equivalent to the math floor of the math random times odd trivia length. Let's stop here for a second and uh, make sure we understand what's going on here. Odd trivia is the variable that represents my array. The length of that array is the number of items it contains, which in this case is 10, 0 through 9. I could have very easily have just done a 10 here, and this would have ended up working exactly the same. But the reason I'm not using a 10 is because then, let me control Z to undo, if I add more items to this array, if I take items out, I don't want to have to keep updating my um, random number calculator. So instead of typing a 10, I'm looking at the length of my odd trivia array. Now I'm using the random method here, math random, to produce a random number between 0 and 1. So it'll produce numbers like 0 0.926 and 9 point, I'm sorry, and 0. 879 and 0 0.932. So basically, it's a bunch of random numbers in decimal format between 0 and 1. I'm taking that random decimal number and I'm multiplying it by 10. Okay, which means let's say I produced a random number that was 0.95. That means if I multiply that by 10, I'm going to end up with 9.5. If I did a random, if I got a random number that was 0. 0.1 or 0. 0.0, uh, you know, 0.2 or something like that, and I multiply that by 10, then I'm going to get a random number that's a 2. So basically, 
By using this random number times the length of my array, which in this case is 10, I'm going to be producing a bunch of random numbers that's between 0 and ultimately 9.99999. Now the math floor method is going to simply drop the decimal from that product. So if I were to end up with a random number from this multiplication that was like 9.995, math floor is going to make that a 9. And if I got a random number that was something like um, 0 0.256, math floor is going to make that a 0. So this entire mathematical operation is simply going to be giving me a random number between 0 and 9, which corresponds with the numbers in my array items, 0 through 9. The variable random trivia, with a capital T, that's simply giving me my random number 0 through 9. So this is what I'm using to get my random number. Now that I have that, I need to take the string of text that corresponds to the appropriate random number, and I need to insert that into my paragraph on my web page. So I'm going to go ahead and write document, oops, get element by ID P trivia. Now, by the way, P trivia is the ID of my paragraph. Let me scroll this up just a second here. So I have an empty paragraph with ID P trivia. So my JavaScript is referring to that. P trivia dot enter HTML is going to be equal to odd trivia bracket random trivia bracket semicolon. So odd trivia are the names of all of my array items. Random trivia is some random number between 0 through 9. So when I combine these two, I'm going to sometimes get odd trivia 3 or odd trivia 8. Odd trivia 3, of course, corresponds to this statement, an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. And odd trivia 8 corresponds to Antarctica is the only continent without reptiles or snakes. And I'll keep getting those random numbers. And they're going to get inserted in between the opening and closing paragraph tags of an element with id equals p trivia on my document. So there we go. So that's my JavaScript. Let me go ahead and save this. Let me go ahead and copy the name of this function. Jump over to my HTML, and inside of my button tag, I'll do an on click equals the name of the function. That'll call the function whenever somebody clicks the button. I will save that, jump back over to my browser, do a hard refresh, click the button. Oh, I'm getting an error here. So let's check this out real quick. So this will be a good little error check here. So I'm just going to go ahead to my browser, and I will head over to Tools. Web Dev I'm using Firefox browser, by the way. I'm going to uh, open up the web console and double check here. And it looks like on my JavaScript file line 2, odd trivia is not defined properly. So let me go ahead and check that out. I'll jump over to my JavaScript file. There it is line two, and I'm just going to double check, make sure I don't have any spelling errors. And sure enough, I did have a spelling error in there. I see it right there. Odd trivia. So let me go ahead and save that. Let's do another little test here. Jump back over to my browser. Do a hard return. Excellent. And by the way, I could clear this out. My uh, This is my web console for Firefox. Fantastic tool. And if I click, I must, I must, have, made, oh, I must have made the exact same spelling error. So I'm going to leave this all in the video because it's an example of how easy it is to make mistakes. So, ah, trivia, and it looks like on line 14. Let me jump back over there real quick. Line 14. Boy, I am not good at the spelling. So let me just do a quick glance. Odd trivia, odd trivia, odd trivia. All right, I think I've got it now, right? So let me save, head back over to the browser, clear my errors, do a hard refresh, and finally, there we go. So now the user can click buttons, and looks like I'm getting a couple duplicates here, but it'll be a random display of one of those items. So let me just do a quick little rundown here of what we've got. We've got an array called Odd Trivia. We have a certain number of trivia items, each with a unique number, 0 through, in this case, 9. And then I have this function down here, which is producing a random number 
my random number is between 0 and 9, and that's occurring because I'm taking the random method, multiplying it by the length of the array, and then taking the floor, okay, rounding down basically, of whatever that number happens to be. That random number is getting associated with one of my array items, and that's getting inserted in between the opening and closing tags of a particular element on my document. And all of this is occurring when somebody clicks the button on the web page. Okay, so now that you can do this, experiment with it. You can do all kinds of things. You could put images in there instead of text. Um, you could rig it up so that instead of it being triggered on click, perhaps it's being triggered randomly when the page loads and they're getting a tip of the day or a fact of the day. So have fun with this one.